Hello and welcome back to VIP Tutorials. In this lesson I'm going to try to uh, create an avatar effect with our celebrity makeover. Uh, and the subject in here is going to be Lindsay Lohan. So let's create a brand new layer and uh, making sure that our foreground color is fairly blue, dark blue and the background color going into a brighter uh, bluer spectrum. Let's click OK. Let's go into Filter, Render and Clouds. Now what that's going to do, it's going to create a base cover for our photograph that we're working with. Let's change the blending mode of that layer to multiply. Now you can see that we have uh, pretty good shading effects in here and obviously if, if you think that the shading might be a little bit different, go ahead press Control F on your keyboard. It's going to apply the cloud layer one more time and we're going to see if, if we can get some, some better um, shade effects in here. And you can just keep pressing Control F until you're satisfied with the way it's um, the shades are laid out. Uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, it's it's really hard to do a tutorial like this one within 10 minutes, so I'm not going to focus on much uh, extra details. Now let's go back into our background layer, and uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust the size of the eye. So going into Filter, Liquify, and we're going to use the Bloat tool to expand the size of the of the eyes. Okay, now let's go ahead and, and focus on the area of the, the bridge of the nose. So we're just going to widen that section a little bit. Okay, let's go into, go ahead and correct the size of our eyes here. Let's go ahead and stretch this one out a little bit more. Let's click OK. And now this is before and this is after applying the effect. Um, so let's let's go ahead and uh, now we're going to work with the um, iris. Um, so let's go back into our cloud layer and we're going to use a uh, simple eraser tool. We're just going to zoom in a little bit on, on the area of the eyes. And let's go ahead and, and erase some of these uh, some of that uh, cloud layer. So we're, we're going to expose uh, the pupil of the eye. Okay, and let's uh, let's go ahead and we can just uh, uh, go into f liquify one more time and just correct uh, that other eye just a little bit. Bring it up. Just open it up a little bit more. Okay, one more time, just let's go ahead and erase some of the other areas here. Now let's switch our brush to um, color dodge. I'm going to use a fairly light um, yellowish uh, color for the area of the uh, eyes, and we're just going to uh, make sure the opacity is pretty low. I would suggest about uh, 10%. Now right click on your screen, change the brush size to about 46. There is a uh, nice scattered uneven brush it's going to allow you to make pretty uh, pretty neat effects so let's change the size of the brush using your bracket key making sure that we're working with um, the uh, background layer we're just going to introduce a little bit of a little bit of highlights into into our eye working from the outside towards the inside making sure that the inside is a little bit brighter Okay, and we can um, just go ahead and and uh, switch the blending mode of that brush to color uh, color burn. Switch the foreground color to black, and just increase the size. And we're just going to create a couple of a couple of highlights around the eyes. Also, the opacity can you can uh, lower the opacity about five percent. And let's highlight these um, these eyes, make them stand out a little bit more from the graphic. Okay, also we can just go back one more time to liquify and just adjust the uh, size of that eye, make it make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, 
And now let's uh, let's just go ahead and focus in the uh, center part of the eye so that highlight does stand out. Okay, now we're gonna shift click both of the layers and we're gonna merge these layers together. And let's create a brand new layer and we're gonna name that layer lines. So double click on that layer, just name it lines. And in here we're just gonna use a regular brush tool. Switch the blending mode to normal, opacity of 100%. And now um, right click and let's say shift it to let's say uh, diameter of 45 pixels. Okay, if this is too large, use your brackets key bracket keys to make it smaller and change the foreground color to uh, some really darkish blue. Let's let's create some of the uh, some of these lines. Here we can just colorize the inside. We're going to apply a couple of filters to these lines so although at the beginning it might not look uh, natural, uh, we'll make sure it's, uh, this effect is blended into the photograph pretty nicely. Just go ahead and paint over that really quick. And also we can use a uh, eraser tool um, to to uh, modify some of these lines that we create so you don't really have to be super precise. Go ahead and switch back to our eraser tool. And we're just going to erase some of these edges uh, that we uh, uh, overexposed a little bit too much. So let's, let's blend these. Uh, Let's blend these in. And we're also going to switch the blending mode of that layer as well, uh, so it does uh, expose some of the uh, texture of the model's face as well. So let's just see you finish up the uh, erasing. Okay, anytime you make a mistake, Control Z, you can undo undo the previous step. Okay, and let's go ahead and change the blending mode of that um, layer to, let's say, overlay. And uh, we're also going to change the opacity of that layer to, to about 50%. Uh, we can go even even lower, about 42% is fine. Now let's go ahead and switch the uh, switch to brush tool, and we're gonna change our blending mode to uh, color dodge. Change the foreground color to white, and now we're just gonna create a uh, highlight effect uh, uh, using uh, the dodge tool, making sure that the opacity is at 100%. Right click on your screen, select a brush that's a default brush. Uh, that looks like uh, a little star and we're just going to create these um, highlights uh, right around the lines that we just created here. So let's just go ahead and click following fairly closely with the contours of these of these lines. And whenever you you uh, make a mistake one more time, you can just undo that it's using Control Z on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and finish this up here. And obviously, you can make the brush a little bit smaller uh, the farther away you are uh, working with the uh, uh, the contours in here. So we're just going to make these uh, sparkles a little bit a little bit smaller here. just to preserve the perspective. Okay, and we, we can do the same thing, let's say, with a slightly bigger brush. Let's change the color of that brush to um, sort of bright green, and we can work around the eyes as well, and just create some sort of a highlight right around the eyebrow. Okay, now we can um, also uh, blend uh, the entire image or adjust the curves of the entire image. So let's let's merge these layers together. Let's go into Image, Adjustments, 
curves and we're just going to decrease some of these uh, darker areas we're just going to make them a little bit darker and also expose some of the highlights just click OK and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with the VIP tutorials uh, thank you for watching and please uh, post your comments thank you